In automated driving applications, sensors provide information about the positions and velocities of objects around the EVO vehicle in the form of multiple detections per time step. In order to correctly identify the positions and velocities of these objects over multiple time steps, you need to fuse information from multiple sensors together and locate these targets in each frame. Sensor fusion will provide a single position and velocity estimate of each object per time step. The trackers will locate a moving object or multiple objects over multiple time steps and multiple frames. Tracking requires detecting objects of interest in a frame, predicting the object locations in the next frame, and using the predicted locations to associate detections across frames to form tracks. Today, you will learn how to use the multi-object tracker block in Simulink to fuse sensor detections, track multiple objects, and visualize the results in a bird's eye scope. Open the example using this MATLAB command. The driving scenario being used for this video was created using the Driving Scenario Designer app. The Scenario Reader block reads in the scenario and outputs the actor poses in ego vehicle coordinates. The Sensor Simulation subsystem consists of the Vision and Radar Detection Generator blocks. These blocks simulate and output sensor detections. The ego vehicle in this example has eight sensors, two cameras and six radars with 360 degree coverage as shown. More information about the scenario used can be found in the video's description. The detection concatenation block combines detections from multiple sensors into a single output bus in order to send a single bus input to the multi-object tracker block. The radar detections are clustered using the detection clustering block, which clusters multiple radar detections into a single detection if they are within a certain distance from each other. These are the parameters that the detections bus contains which will be sent as input to the multi-object tracker. More information about clustering workflows and tracker parameters can be found in the description. Opening the multi-object tracker block, these are the parameters we see. This block is responsible for fusing the data from all the sensor detections and tracking the objects around the ego vehicle. It takes the detections bus as input and performs the following functions shown in this diagram. Let's take a closer look. Step 1. A new track starts in a tentative state. Each detection is assigned to a separate track using the global nearest neighbor criterion. The assignment threshold property describes the normalized distance between the detections and the tracks. If some detections are assigned to incorrect tracks, decrease the threshold. If there are a lot of unassigned detections, then increase the threshold. New tracks are also created for unassigned detections. Step two. The block uses the confirmation threshold property m, n to check if a track has received at least m detections in the last n updates. If so, then the track is confirmed. If enough tracks are not getting confirmed, decrease m. If too many false detections are being assigned to tracks, increase m. When setting n, consider the number of times you want the tracker to update before it makes a confirmation decision. Step 3. Helper init simulating demo filter function describes the Kalman filter tracker estimates for state vector and state vector covariance matrix for each track. You can specify the type of filter here. The motion model used here is a constant velocity motion model. This function provides an initial guess when a detection is used to start a new track. More information about Kalman filter tracking can be found in the description. Step 4. If detections are not assigned to tracks in a specified number of updates, the track is deleted. This is specified by the deletion threshold property as P detections and R updates. If tracks should be kept a longer time before deletion, decrease P. For earlier deletion, increase P. Other block parameters include maximum number of tracks and maximum number of sensors. The tracker outputs confirm tracks. In order to visualize sensor and tracker outputs, Open the bird's eye scope in Simulink. Click on Find Signals and click on Run. You can see each sensor detections as dots and the multi-object tracker tracks as squares. Let's look at the effects changing the highlighted parameters can have on the output. Change the confirmation threshold to 1,10 and deletion threshold to 1,2. The output shows multiple false tracks. Changing these parameters to 10,10 .10 and 8,8 Tracks are deleted too quickly. Target vehicles are not tracked in some time steps. Changing the parameters to 4,5 and 5,5 fixes both these problems 
and the output looks much cleaner. Experiment with various values and look at the bird's eye plot outputs to figure out what works best for your scenarios. In summary, we saw how to use Simulink to fuse multiple sensor data, track objects around the ego vehicle using the multi-object tracker block, and visualize the sensor detections and tracks in a bird's eye scope. Thank you for watching and please refer to the description to learn more about fusion and tracking.